Hi, welcome to Dinners with Dave. Today, I'm taking you back, back to my roots as an Italian-American growing up outside of Chicago. Now we're doing something special today because I'm gonna be sharing one of my grandmother's recipes from the old neighborhood. I affectionately refer to this as pasta with the Italian tuna. Come on, andiamo, let's go. Okay, so you're probably thinking, well, what is pasta with the Italian tuna? It's simple. It's an Italian red sauce, and instead of cooking pork neck bones or meatballs, Italian sausage, in the gravy, gravy is what Italians call a red sauce, uh, we use, <laughs> sorry, we use, we use tuna instead. Um, I know, it sounds like it could be weird, but it actually adds a wonderful umami flavor to the pasta. We finish the whole thing off with a breadcrumb topping. It's crunchy, it's flavorful, it's fabulous. So let's get started. We just need a couple tablespoons of olive oil here. You really want the bottom of the pot pretty well coated. To this, we're going to add one medium onion. I'm going to go ahead and season this with just about half a teaspoon of salt just to start to sweat the onions a little bit. I'm going to give this a big stir with my spoon with the uh, unusually long handle that's purchased in Italy. Only seems appropriate. Now, this dish can actually be quite spicy if you want it to be spicy by the way of red pepper flakes. I'm going to use about a quarter of a teaspoon because we are not cooking uh, any kind of meat, any kind of Italian sausage that usually has that fennel flavor to it, I'm gonna go ahead and add some fennel seed here just to add a depth of flavor to the sauce. I wanna add about a tablespoon of oregano and I wanna go ahead and crush it up in my hands here to just kind of break it up a little bit and release the oils. Now let's go ahead and give this a big stir. We're just gonna let this cook until the onions are translucent. In the meantime, let's press some garlic. So the garlic press is like truly my best friend in the kitchen. There is nothing I like less than individually chopping cloves of garlic, especially when we're doing like three, four, five, six, ten cloves of garlic. So if you don't have one of these, I definitely find this to be worth the investment. We're gonna do four cloves of peeled garlic, one more clove to peel here. And we're gonna run these through the press. We're putting it in at the end so it doesn't burn. We're just going to let this cook until fragrant. Okay, now to this we want to add one 28 ounce can of crushed tomato plus one half can of water. We're going to add half of a small can of tomato paste. Now, one of the secrets to creating a really well-balanced flavor in this dish is baking soda. Because what the baking soda will do is take out the acid uh, from the tomatoes and give you more of that tomato taste without that like sharpness or that bitterness. So I'm going to go ahead and add half a teaspoon of baking soda. And you'll see it bubble up just a little bit. The other secret is a little bit of sugar. I know we're checking labels and we look at pasta sauces in the grocery store with added sugar and we put those down. But when you're making it at home, the sweetness and the sugar can really just help round out the sauce. You won't know it's there, but you'll just know that it tastes better. I'm gonna go ahead and season this. Now to this, we wanna add some julienne basil leaves, which means we're just gonna roll the leaves together and then thinly slice them. I actually think this may be my addition to my grandmother's recipe. I don't think she had fresh basil around the house all that often. Okay, so this is just about done with taste. Mmm, it's really good. It has a nice spice to it from the crushed red pepper. It's a little sweet from the basil. It's ready for the tuna. So now, all we're gonna do is take a can of Italian tuna. We really do need to use an olive oil packed tuna for this. This is the brand that my grandmother used to use, so for nostalgia, we'll use it today. 
but you always want to make sure that you're looking for a sustainable tuna. You know, terms like ocean safe, dolphin safe, they, they don't really mean that much these days. You really want to look for a pole and line caught tuna that's packed in olive oil. We are just going to go ahead and crumble it into the sauce here. Pour in just a little bit of the oil actually, just a little bit of the extra flavor. And then we're going to go ahead and drain off the rest. So go ahead and mix this in. My grandmother always used two cans of tuna. If you're concerned um, or don't like totally love the flavor of tuna, you can just add one can and it will really just give you that underlying umami taste um, instead of obviously making it more noticeable with two cans of tuna. We're just gonna let this simmer for about 10 minutes or so. Then we're gonna make the breadcrumb topping and we'll be ready to eat. This makes enough sauce for about a pound of pasta. Let's go ahead and give this just a quick little test. Uh oh. Mmm, <laughs> that's perfect. And you can really taste that the noodle has some salt to it, which is which is what we want. It's really good. Um, good. And you want it to have just the slightest bit of bite left to the noodle, because we're going to finish cooking it in the sauce. And this dish can come together really quickly. It's easy enough for weeknight or good enough for company. I actually just served it at a dinner party last week. And then we're gonna go ahead and take some of the pasta and put it right into the sauce. Mmm, perfecto. The trick here at the end is that you wanna cook the noodles in the sauce. It'll absorb the rest of the taste. Moving them around and agitating them in the sauce gets the sauce to adhere to the noodle. Now at this point, you can put in a little bit of pasta water but I'm just going to put in a little bit of olive oil. You want a good, nice quality finishing oil here. And go ahead and just keep mixing it in for another second. Put the pasta here in a bowl. Wonderful. I'm going to go ahead and add just a little bit of extra sauce to the top because I love this particular sauce. And a nice healthy amount of breadcrumbs on top. Add that crunch and that texture. Look at that. It looks so good. And again, something really unique that I don't think you would find in a lot of Italian-American restaurants. Oh my gosh, so good. I think that's going to be a mess. Oh my god. So good. It really takes me back to just sitting around the family dinner table. Dean Martin playing in the background. Us kids running around screaming. Madam. Anyway, if you like this recipe, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Give me a like, leave me a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. There are so many more videos, so many more recipes coming your way very, very soon. Until then, bon appetit. Moved into an all Italian American neighborhood. And oops. <laughs> now the secret to creating a really well-rounded and well-balanced flavor um, in a tomato sauce is baking powder. Baking soda. Powder. Soda. Powder. Soda. So this dish is really special to me. This is, 